Welcome to Fresno Social Media, the show dedicated to helping business owners incorporate social media into their business. I'm your host, Chris Durham, and today we have a very special guest, Beth Bridges. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and the chamber and the things that you do? Sure, my pleasure. And I like that you aim this for business owners because that's what the Clovis Chamber does. We're a business association for small businesses, large businesses here in the Fresno Clovis area. And I'm the membership director. I've been here with the chamber for 10 years. I also have a second title. I have two or three titles, most of them self, self-given, and one of them is chief networking officer. Very nice. Which I, I did that quite a few years ago. But when social media really became a tool for us here, it was perfect. It fit just right. And so you could say I'm the social media manager for the chamber as well. Mm-hmm. And so recently the chamber received a little bit of an honor with social media would you mind telling us a little bit about that and we were thrilled about that because it wasn't just for small businesses or businesses in general it was a list by website called online mba page.com of the top 100 most social media friendly chambers of commerce so it ranked us among our peers in the united states Not only were we on the list, which we were thrilled, but we were number 43 out of the top 100 most social media friendly chambers of commerce in the United States. That's awesome. Right behind Atlanta, Georgia, which is a little bit bigger of a city than we are, just a little, and right ahead of Stockton. We were fifth out of all the California chambers that were on the list. That's great. Yeah, we were really pleased to be recognized that way. So how much does social media play into your overall promotion? Because I know you do, social media is not your only way of promoting? I think of it from a marketing perspective where you have your funnel and and you want to reach as many people as possible in your target market with that funnel and and we have a variety of ways to, to fill that to reach people most of which is networking. When I took this job 10 years ago I made a small interview mistake, which if anybody who's watching this is in marketing or a student in marketing and looking to get into marketing, when you interview for a marketing job and at the end they say, do you have any questions for us? You must ask, what is your marketing budget like? Hmm. Because if I would asked that here, they would have said, oh, we just blew it all on you. (laughs) (laughs) So really not a lot of advertising and marketing resources Beyond, of course, the Chamber of Commerce in business circles, well known. Most people know that in business, there is a Chamber of Commerce in your city. And we have a very good advantage in that we do Big Hat Days, which is extremely well known, although most people who go to that don't know that we run it. Mm -hmm. So there you go, we run Big Hat Days. And we've also been fortunate in that our newsletter goes out to the general population of of the city. So that's something we've had for years where it got inserted into the paper. Mm -hmm. So that was a great marketing channel, great advertising channel, the general awareness of the chamber. And then one of the things I've been leveraging intensely since day one is the networking. And personal networking, going out, meeting people, being where our business owners are, Mm -hmm. and then social media really just added another venue for the networking and that's how i think of it as as a networking and relationship building tool and not necessarily a whole advertising uh, venue of course i say that and we're just trying out some advertising recently so yeah well i'd I'd like to highlight that that you still incorporate a lot of the face-to-face type activities and um it's not just social media because social media is networking. It's doing what you do face to face, but online. And so it's important and it lets you have a bigger reach, but it's it's not a complete replacement. Right. Um, and so, yeah, you, you do that very well. It has not replaced, exactly. It has not replaced. It's simply adding on mm-hmm. and giving us a wider range, a, a wider reach, as you said. But it's it's become just increasingly more important for a couple of reasons. One, again, that lack of a, an advertising budget. I don't have any advertising dollars to work with, and social media is still free mm-hmm. as far as money goes. Time is a whole Time, other issue, yes. but it's free, and so I have to leverage that. 
And then we're also using it as a benefit for our members. And so that right there is extremely valuable to us and almost a whole different use of it in the chamber world than I think for a lot of businesses. With the community right here around the chamber in particular, Clovis as a whole, but it seems a lot of the businesses uh, right here in downtown, um, they're very close. And so how do you grow your online community? And then how do you, or what advice would you give to uh, business owners to grow theirs? The advice I would give to business owners to grow theirs is the same way we grew ours. And that is to focus on giving value. That is the most important thing to remember that this is about building relationships and it is about networking. That you have to find, what do I know that's helpful or useful? that I can share. And it doesn't matter what you do, you've got some kind of knowledge that you can share. Yeah. And really what you should do is ask yourself not so much how can I sell to my target audience, but what kind of problems do they need solved? And how can I share information that solves those problems? You become an expert on your community's problems. Sounds so negative, <laughs> but you become you become an expert in that, and then you share information about it. I think that is the hardest thing that businesses have with their Facebook or their business Twitter, as opposed to their personal Twitter. You know, personal Twitter is just. I hopefully everybody's pretty much over the. This is what I had for lunch, uh, which I did. I, let me digress a bit. I did a lot of that initially with my Twitter and my Facebook. Oh, really, Beth, you're showing us, you were showing pictures of your lunch, but it was chamber member restaurants. Okay. So yeah. promoting my audience, promoting uh -huh. our members. I have to tell you a story that really worked out. I went over here to Forest Ears Deli mm -hmm. for lunch. Uh, they had these sliders. It was four different kinds of sliders. Took a picture of it posted it having lunch at Forrester's come on over and probably half an hour later somebody walked in that I knew hey how are you doing fancy meeting you here he said no I saw your picture on <laughs> Facebook and it looked so good I had to come yeah. have lunch here well there you go it works and and the, the server who'd seen me taking the picture and laughed and said oh does that Facebook stuff work I said come here come here come here <laughs> tell her what you just told me we had a great laugh about that but it, it just the immediacy of it and the lesson from that is if you're going to do something, know that it's got a purpose. Mm -hmm. And it really had, had a great purpose for promoting our members and serving what the chamber was using and is still using our social media for. Um, what about your favorite aspects of social media? Bob Berg. Yes? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> about Bob Bird. I'll tell you about Bob Bird. I'll tell you a story about Bob Bird because it illustrates my favorite thing about social media. Bob Bird is the author of a book called Endless Referrals, which is one of the first books on networking I ever bought mm. and read. And I thought he was just amazing. And then found his blog online. I can't remember now if I found his Facebook page first or not. Found his Twitter account and I just thought he was terrific, fantastic. And I had a blog going for a while, a personal blog, talking about networking and business, mm -hmm. and that's kind of my hobby. I mean, it's also how I promote the chamber and do a big portion of my job, but it, but it's also- well, That's uh, nice that they connect. Yeah, it worked doing, out, didn't enjoy it? enjoy doing it. And one day I had a comment on my blog from somebody named Bob Bird. I thought, surely that can't be. Bob Berg. So I went to Twitter and I said, got a comment on my blog from Bob Berg, surely not the Bob Berg. And I get a tweet back from Bob <laughs> Berg saying, yes, it's me, Bob Berg. <laughs> and I will, I will put this on, I will put this on digital memory forever and ever that I was so <laughs> thrilled, like a schoolgirl. <laughs> Bob Berg commented on my blog that it just, it was amazing to me. Yeah. And now, of course, knowing Bob, 
because he's not just Bob Berg, now he's Bob. Now he's Bob. Now that I know Bob uh, much better, that's just the kind of guy he is. He's a fantastic networker and really kind of a networking mentor and icon to me. That's just how he is, reaches out to all kinds of people. But how in the world, without social media, would I have connected with Bob Berg? Yeah. And how would he have connected with so many people across the country and, and built those relationships without that level, not level playing field, but without the lack of barriers mm -hmm. that might have been there otherwise. So where can we connect with you online? Oh, I'd love to connect with anybody who finds this interesting or if they have questions. Two ways, if they're a business owner and they're local here to Clovis Fresno, find the Clovis Chamber on Facebook. It's just facebook.com slash Clovis Chamber. Sorry, New Mexico, but we got there first. <laughs> There's Clovis, New Mexico. Oh, sure, oh yeah. yes, yeah. And we outranked them. I didn't think about uh -huh. cities having to battle for cities for that kind will of have stuff. to yeah, battle for that that's kind of true. thing. Yeah. So we've got Facebook.com slash Clovis Chamber. We're Clovis Chamber on Twitter, at Clovis Chamber on Twitter. We're also on LinkedIn with a group just for our members. We're also on Pinterest. We're on YouTube as Clovis Chamber CA. I think they beat us there. So we're <laughs> Clovis Chamber CA, all one word. You can okay. find us that way. And on Google Plus, and we'd love it if they would write a review for us on Google Plus, if they've been involved with the Clovis Chamber. And then personally, I'm on Facebook, Beth Bridges. I'm also on Facebook as the networking motivator. That's the project I referred to earlier, kind of my networking project and learning. I'm on Twitter, Beth Bridges, at Beth Bridges. And LinkedIn, love to connect with people on LinkedIn. And on Google Plus as well. Fantastic. And Quora, right? On Quora. Yes. Yeah. For the, uh, the many people that are on there. The many, many, the many people many. that are on there. It is growing. It is growing. Yeah. It's a pretty interesting group of people. It's a pretty thoughtful forum. Uh, I'd like it. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so if uh, you are interested in more conversations like this, check out FresnoSocialMedia.com. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and you can check out the podcast, the full unedited podcast on uh, iTunes, so be sure to search for that. Hook up with Beth Bridges and the Clovis Chamber. See you next time.